Open Educational Resources, also commonly called OER, um, are teaching and learning resources that reside in the public domain or are released often under a Creative Commons license and that permits their you know, repurposing, remixing, reusing by others. Initially my motivation for using OER was to save my students some money. Uh, they spend upwards of $200 for a textbook for each class um, and a lot of that material is available online. Uh, so I thought uh, adopting OER for this course would be a good way to, to save them some money and, and get that same information into the classroom. As I continued to, to get involved in, in adopting OER and implementing it in the course, I realized there were some other advantages as well. And what I found was that in some of the traditional publisher-produced texts, some of that information was outdated oftentimes, and it took kind of a narrow view of, of aspects related to Hispanic linguistics. So I was sort of naturally and have been for a number of years sort of supplementing my courses with other types of materials that are more current and updated. So when the open education movement sort of came along, it was kind of a natural thing that happened and coincided with what I was already doing. We had, in some cases, the readings were an article that had just come out you know, sometimes the day before or just last week. And when the OER was so relevant like that, it made the learning and it made the class so much more real. Where are they going to be in 10 years because they took my course? Are they still going to be looking at the same 10-year-old textbook that was 10 years old when I taught it? Or are they going to have taken in the bedrock foundation that I laid and have become the competent professionals that will reflect back on me? The great thing is, is that at Utah State University, we, we, we have a lot of resources available to faculty to assist them. Uh, we have specialists uh, here in the library. Uh, we have instructional designers in our Center for Innovative Design and Instruction. All of that support structure is available for faculty where if they say, I'd like to explore using OER, or I think I'm interested. That support structure envelops them. So it might just be offering one class of their whole schedule, but if that one class can mean a decrease in cost and a way for one or two students to be able to stay in and continue that semester, then it's a success.